I'm just gonna get right on to this shit, man. Like I said, as YouTubers, you know, reactors, it's our job to talk about serious shit sometime. I just came across this when I was going through my Yahoo and YouTube, and this shit is, is, is heart-wrenching. It's, it's just, oh man. This is what we at now, right? This is where we at now. I'm just gonna get to it and listen to this shit and see what it's about. God. A complaint about too much mayonnaise on a sandwich leads to a deadly shooting at an Atlanta Subway restaurant. Police say a man argued with two women employees about the mayo. Police say the woman who was killed was 26 years old. A 24-year-old co-worker is recovering from her injuries. Police said her five-year-old child was inside the restaurant at the time. A 36-year-old man has been arrested. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And down. Hello, the ABC7. So someone was shot because they had too much of mayonnaise on their damn sandwich. That's where the fuck we at now. Twenty six, and that was a kid present. Like I have been around a lot of crazy ass people in restaurants. Like when you're standing in line, you see how people go off on the people behind the the register. They just go off on them, and it's not even their fault. Like sometimes, if you if you never been a cashier, you would never understand this. You could be hitting certain things, but sometimes other shit will pop up. Or you, you're so fast at it, and sometimes you just add shit on without even knowing that you added shit on because you're trying to get the order taken care of because that's fast paced. You have to be fast paced. You want a timer as well. Certain restaurants time you as far as how fast you go. Like certain restaurants, you're timed how fast a sandwich you, you have to make. And it's sad that that had to happen. Someone had to lose their life over mayonnaise. And whoever this person is that did that shit need to be locked up forever because a motherfucker like that do not need to be walking the street because if they let this dude go in a couple years what's to say that he won't do this shit again if he just snap off motherfuckers like that need to be gone erased fuck all that forgiveness shit motherfuckers like that need to be gone it's sad man our condolences go out to that family and it, it, it's it's just so sad. It is. It's gut wrenching. But I know I had to say something about that. And y'all gonna be getting a lot of this serious shit from me, from time to time. Especially when I come across something that's serious that needs to be seen and heard, that people can be aware of what's going on around this world. Shit like that is just craziness. Or another goddamn sandwich. Politely ask them to remake your sandwich. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. There's no way in hell a person should lose their life over mayonnaise. That shit is complete fucking craziness. Excuse my language, you know, but I'm just pissed off about this shit for real. These are hard working people who wake up every day to go bust their ass at a restaurant job. You don't know, like, fam they have families they need to go home to. Or they can be kids still in school. Or they can be someone older that's working in that type of uh, restaurant and just want to get you know through the day. Make their money just like we have to get up every morning and make our money the hard way. It's sad. So as always, thank y'all for tuning in. I know I had to uh, say something about that. Until next time, peace, love, and deuces. And keep y'all heads up out there, y'all. And be safe.